Hello, I'm John Proxy on channel John on the West. I'm having a Dark Souls 2 adventure. I'm in the Undead Crypt. Now, why am I in the Undead Crypt? I have no idea because I'm recording this audio three videos after the fact because my microphone unplugged. I don't know why the audio didn't record for this or the next two episodes, but it's a bastard! That's all I can tell you. But, um... Well, uh... Okay, let, let me think about this. Why the hell would I be here? Uh, I've just done the memories, haven't I? Of course I have. Yes, I've got them. I've got four giant souls. And because I have four giant souls, I'm going to try the king out again, I guess. Did I already try him out? I, I honestly cannot remember. I've been doing... I've been doing preparations and stuff. I'm well past this. But, um, so it's really annoying I have to record this audio again, but, um, uh, yeah, it's my own fault for not checking after every episode, I guess. Uh, cause yes, even worse is three episodes I have to do again, and some pretty important episodes. Uh, it's not like I can delete them and have nothing happen. Anyway, um, at least killing these dudes mean that, um, well, I'm getting some souls, just in case I die. Just in case I die on the King Vendrick, dude. Yes. I uh, kind of feel sorry for these knights. They are undead knights, though, so... Well, now I feel even more sorry for them. But I'm sure I'll be fine. Got the, uh... Yes. I've got the yes. No, I was just trying to figure out which weapons I've got equipped. Yes, of course, I've got 60. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> and stopped. I don't know how far back this is, but uh, yes, I've got power stance, so obviously my strength is level 60. Right, so let's go through, defeat King Vendrick and become the new king. I don't know if that's how it works, but it's how it works for me. Some great magic weapon there. Lovely. It makes my uh, sword all blue and shiny. And, uh... My other one's red. I, I think it's, it, it looks nice. So, um... Go on, we're gonna kill him straight away. Um... There you go. Start as we mean to go on. Ah, 229 damage. It's not a lot of damage, but, uh... Considerably more than I was doing. To stay away from his very obviously, um... I'm attack you. So yes, as long as I stay behind him, maybe not do that power move. Uh, John, you, you got hit by him. Uh, John, he's going to. John, John. Right, I died. Obviously, I knew that was going to happen, but I have to pretend, guys. Otherwise, I take away all the tension, don't I? I can't just say, you know, um. Indiana Jones kills the Nazis, then you'd know. You know, the Nazis melt their faces off. Turns out if Indiana Jones had never really intervened, they would have done that anyway. Like, you know, I don't want to take all the attention away from what you're viewing. So I'm not going to tell you the future events. But obviously, my immediate future involves going back <laughs> and repairing. And then what, eh? And then what? Because... You know, um, I may not be doing a lot of damage to King Vendrick, but as long as I don't do the stupid power move, I think I can basically dodge everything. It'll be a long fight, but I reckon it's doable. Just got to be patient, and as you all know, I'm king of patience. I'm like a doctor in that respect. That's how I view doctors, yeah, as King of Patience, not as Captain Healing Fellows. Um, which is how you view them, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen, you bastards. So, um, so we're going to try the King again, it looks like. Yeah, I know the future, but uh, it's cloudy. It's, uh, it's, it's... I see it through a tea-filled haze, the future. Like a crystal ball made out of... orange and tea leaves and mango. Um, so it's a bit cloudy. 
You know what? You know what would have been the smart thing to say, John? Just tea leaves at the bottom of a cup. That's that's a good way of people see the future as well. Oh, obviously no one can see the future, but uh, in TV programs and books and such. Yeah, sort of the tea leaves, the future. Just ignore that crystal ball nonsense. It's very pretty over there. The game's generally quite pretty. Um... So I don't know how to kill these guys. Now I don't have a choice, though I could ring that bell, bring the ghosts back. But if I die, if I die, I'm not getting my souls back. If. If. Stop that, John. It sounds like you've got a really weird cough. Uh, nothing in this room. Bonfire would be nice. Uh, the game likes making you run to the bosses. So put some great magic weapon on. Power stance, I guess. Blah, blah, blah. Nope, I forgot to put power stance on. I wonder if I'll put it in and then immediately regret wasting that time. Oh no, I'm wasting time. I'm sure I'll be fine though. So, this is, this is roundabout time that I decided I probably could, if I was incredibly patient, kill Kim Vendrick. But why not? Why not investigate other avenues, eh? For instance, I remember... I remember there being other doors to unlock. Now, obviously, I'm in the future, so obviously I remember there being other doors to unlock. But, I mean, at the time of recording... Don't, don't make me talk about this past, present, and future John all over again. At the time of recording... I thought to myself, there's more doors, isn't there? And <clears throat> so what I thought I'd do is have a look at Dragon Lake Castle. Because I'm sure on that top floor, there was a couple of doors I couldn't open. Something like that. And of course, something else has just occurred to me three videos ago. It was, I didn't see the Queen yet. I've done the entire of Drang Lake Castle, I've gone past, of fought Aldia, whoever the fuck Aldia is. No, I haven't fought Aldia, actually. But Aldia's not the Queen. It's a bit annoying that I'm recording this after the fact, because I now know information that I was just speculating, and now I can't, like, I'm cheating now. But, um, yes, I thought I might be able to meet the Queen, because I hadn't yet. In the castle somewhere. Because I've seen her sitting down, right? <clears throat> and, uh... Yeah, I didn't even think of this door. I was thinking of somewhere completely different. So, uh... I need... Symbol of the King. Which is I thought was weird at the time. Because... That wasn't the latest thing I'd got. The latest thing I'd got was... Uh... Some sort of stone from the... from something else. So let's open this door up for us. And have a little bit of an investigate. Oh man. Open faster. Please. Uh, so yeah, there's no um, there's no bonfire here or anything. But there is somebody I can, uh... Throne of Want! Wanton destruction, eh? No, it's wanton. That's different. Uh... It's a bit of a weird name, Throne of Want. It's like childish... I, I like, language. That's my Throne of Want! That was supposed to be a childish voice. It wasn't really. So, obviously, I don't need the King's Ring on anymore. Let's put on the Clalanti Ring. Still no idea how to pronounce that, and uh, this is a very cool looking road. Uh, it's like a massive chasm, and if I was going to build a castle, I wouldn't build it on a chasm. Um, there's obviously a mist door there, and what I was thinking right now, I was thinking, is this the final boss? Am I approaching the final boss right now? That's what I was thinking. I was very earnest about that, I was like, oh my god, whew, final boss, eh? Yes, whew. Ha <laughs> ha! Hmm. Oh. Mentally preparing myself and all that. 
Well, as you can probably tell from the tone of my voice, it's not the final boss. But uh, we are in... Listen carefully, give it up. We are very, very close. So uh, there's a couple more summon signs. Of course, of course, of course. So I go through and... Uh, Let's go, the Throne Watcher and the Throne Defender. Look at these two. Looks like a couple. So, uh, immediately I see this isn't the final boss. And that one hit I did, did bloody loads of damage on the Defender. Uh, of course, for ages I won't be able to tell the difference between the Watcher and the Defender. Uh, quite easy to tell, John. Defender's got the giant girt shield. But, um, I won't know that for a while. <laughs> Let's say a while. So, dodging them is easy enough. They do occasionally get hits in, but uh, at this stage, I'm pretty damn confident that I can kill these dudes. I mean, it's only through silly mistakes. I mean, look, I've almost got Throne Defender halfway down. That's the one with the shield. And if I was being a little bit less reckless about it, you know, I've got seven Estus Flask. Get out of the way. Heal. This is in the bag, baby. It's in the bag. Come on. Wow, look how... Seriously, I'm really close. So, uh, let's dodge the defender. Like, one more hit on the defender, he's down. Two hits on the watcher, she's down. Now, electric uh, sword is pretty damn intimidating. So, yeah. That was a bit foolish, but look how fucking close I was. I mean, just uh, looking back on it. I was so close. Because, um... No, I'm not going to say, but... I could have done that right there. And I went forward thinking... You know, I was so close. Cut a better dodge right at the end there. A little bit less reckless. That was done. That was in the bag, baby. That's, that's the new thing I say, in the bag, baby. Um... It's uh, it's because I started working at Iceland uh, or Tesco's or, or, or Walmart, somewhere you recognise. I started working, and uh, every time, you know, a uh, box of Kellogg's uh, cornflakes that's in the bag, baby. Uh, pure orange juice that's in the bag, baby. Um, some nappies they're in the bag, baby. You know, it never gets old. Never gets old. Uh, customers often high five me as soon as I finish um, putting stuff in the bag baby um, and one time it was just a baby a giant um, inexplicably large bearded Chinese baby and I was like it's in the bag baby and the baby was like I don't appreciate you saying it like that and I was like how are you so inexplicably large Chinese and bearded baby and it, he was just like rrr, 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 rrr. you know and I don't that's not a, that's not words that's not an explanation. That's just a noise. Not only am I serving an inexplicably large Chinese bearded baby, but he's not even making sense anymore. But he hands over his money. I'm like, maybe I shouldn't say that's in the bag, baby, anymore. But he's paying. And I, you know, I, the guys at Tesco or Walmart or or a Comet or wherever I'm pretending that I work, you know, that they, they appreciate the cash. Uh, they don't like me turning away customers. In this hypothetical pretend made up scenario I've invented. So I, you know. I mean, Eve. I don't want to, like, get letters from the cabal of inexplicably large Chinese bearded babies either for being racist against inexplicably large Chinese bearded babies with beards. Um. So yeah, yeah, I served him. I mean, he hadn't really done anything wrong apart from being a bit weird. Anyway, so. I thought, well, it's very nice. Um, yeah, that's the end of that bit. Uh, it's a bit weird that I struggled the fuck out of these two. And I didn't die, luckily. But um, it's all well and good that me finding that door uh, to that boss, which I'm definitely sure I can do. Oh, that's convenient. John, swing from the right. <laughs> uh, and he's coming down as well. But I thought there was somewhere else. I thought there was a throne room. And the cat said... Have we spoke to the cats? Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, the cat said, seek my throne. And I think there was a throne room. Maybe there was a secret door. There was definitely doors up here, though. So, um... 
And these dudes don't even react if you attack them from behind. So let's take these dudes out. Should be easy enough, right? Watch. Blam! Almost dead in one. Uh, you know, that was a tiny bit foolish, obviously, but, uh... Maybe... Did he fucking counter me, then? Maybe I shouldn't be trying to use the power move every single time. But anyway, dude's dead. He didn't even see me. I didn't even exist to that guy. Heal, John. Heal. Like a dog. Any shield? No, no, all try and constantly use the thing. Heal, John. John? John, heal? I know how confident you are, John, but heal. Because. Look, now he's hit you again. Now he's hit you again. Now you want to heal, don't you? There we go. Feeling much better about myself. Just one guy, let's get him down. Almost dead. One more move. Then we can investigate this area properly. Maybe you don't want to use that move constantly. Maybe you want to just kind of go for the single. Yeah, maybe. Maybe go in for the side. The fuck, John! I say, knowing full well that was going to happen, but that was basically what I said. No fucking enemy. What a twat. Ooh, I'm. That was a bit loud, John. Uh, maybe if you're going to shout, lean back. Harder to do when you're actually gaming, but you're facing towards the mic this time, John. So, uh. Better be careful that you don't go over the limit. Like so. Uh, it's very sensitive. As am I, ladies and gentlemen. Um. So yeah, apparently I'm just like, fuck it, I don't care about healing anymore. <laughs> I'm fucking killing these dudes. I like that they didn't even notice me then. Still struggling on them, but they died this time. But yeah, now I've got something to prove. And I kill these dudes, and they're going to die. Yeah. So... I didn't put crystal magic weapon on or whatever magic weapon it was. Forgot forgot to do that, didn't I? But uh This dude's being annoying, so let's go past him. Ah <sighs> Two more videos after this, John. Two more videos and remember to check your fucking audio every time you record, please. There you go, that's most of his health gone. Seriously, you died on this guy, John? Hmm. Ah, at least I remember to take a sip of the golden sun-kissed Estus flask drink. So obviously I alerted that bloke, which is uh, less efficient, and of course this scenario would be much faster if I'd actually remember to put the magic weapon on, but uh, Never mind! So I can see two doors on the right there and a door in the distance. And of course, I want to go beyond that invisible bloke as well. So let's have a little investigate. See, John, that was easy. You didn't need to. So, a door in short key required a head. That has 200 points. But does it require keys? Because it doesn't seem to have an option. Nor does that. But that's definitely a door. And leads to something very important. Empty room with the words, I did it. And yes, I am investigating the walls. So yes, uh, but... It's, it, 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 uh, can I go through there? I can go around the side to the right, John. To the right? No, you want to get trapped in that hole? Whatever, John, you take the long way around. You idiot. So, um... Yes, that's... Maybe talk to the invisible dude, see if he sells you anything important. No, you're just gonna skip him. Go into the throne room. Have a little investigate. So which one's the king and which one's it says boss ahead, alas poor soul. But which one's the king? Which one's the queen? They both Not here. So, um Basically Bloody expensive. This all turned the like, King and Queen must have been fucking tall, but then again, I have met Vendrick, um, and he is quite tall, so, uh, 
So yeah, all of that last five minutes, complete waste of time. Complete waste of time and and my tea's gone cold. My tea I'm drinking in the present. So now I've suddenly remembered I have to repair my ring. So while that loads, I am going to um, bother kettle. Even though the the videos and the audio recording are synced up, so I can't just add. Whenever the fuck I like. I could if I could be bothered to edit, but I'm not going to. I'm making a cup of tea, damn it. I'll be nearby if you need me. Yep, yeah, I know. This is King of Professionalism. That's my nickname. Um, what on my middle name? One of the two. I knew uh, be where the hell am I? Right. Oh, cool. Uh, looks like things are being repaired. That's lovely. You're going to hear steam from the kettle. Boiling. Uh, don't worry about that. So, um. There until hope has What am I doing? What do I. What am I rolling about? Why haven't I gone back? Ah, oh, there, there I go. Fine. Uh, I'm not quite back yet. Just trying to find a teaspoon. I found it. I found the teaspoon. Right, uh, let's put the headphones back on, get into the optimal position. Right, I'm not quite back yet, I am sitting down. Uh, uh, I'm just going to wait for the kettle to boil. Obviously, I am in a, a uh, pretty good position to just walk off again, but uh, let's be honest, not a lot's happening. <laughs> yeah, John, uh, that's why you're here to talk. So, uh, Apparently, I did have the ring on, but I wanted to take it immediately off. I want to uh, put. Uh, Clonanthi, I think. That's the one I go for, isn't it? Um, and as you can see, the kettle just boiled a little bit of it. No, you can't see that at all. Nothing about the kettle or my tea is on the screen. So I could have a tea meter, I could just build it in. But, um. Ah, I was looking out for something I didn't see. Uh, so let's continue onwards. I'll be right back. Um. Proxus here, that's his name. He's gonna go find that missed door again, yes? I mean, I, I was so close to killing him straight away, so pretty much guaranteed to get an immediate kill here. I, I, I'm still over here, don't you worry. I've not left you. Just just pouring my tea out. Not at the door yet, so uh, just putting the milk in now. I would say you don't need a running commentary, but this is basically a running commentary. Literally, I'm running, and it's a commentary, and it's a running commentary. I mean, in every aspect of the word, it's a running commentary. So, um, I see, uh, there's a t couple of dudes there. I'll probably talk about them later. So, uh, Ben Hart of Jugo, uh, or Jugo, as I keep calling him for some reason. Right, um, uh, just gotta brew my tea. I'm almost there. Uh, so... Oh, I summoned him. Right. Well, I'm gonna make, obviously I'm gonna make short work of this. Uh, no, no. Oh. Right. Right. Oh crap! Don't start yet. Right. So uh, how's it? sorry? I've sat down now. So uh, they they seem to be taking on Ben Hart. I completely missed that. But look at them. They're piled up. Uh, if this is anything like last time, the easy kill. Come on, Juco. I mean, I feel guilty even bringing Jugo with me. Um, wow, I keep missing. Stop missing, John. Um, because it was pretty much a guaranteed kill by myself, let alone bringing Jugo with me. But uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, it's a good idea, John. Go for the defender next. Uh, for reasons. So, almost halfway. Let's call it halfway. Let's be generous. John, you're being very... Missy. And I don't mean Elliot. Oh, John, you got hit then. Oh, John, you got hit then. Oh, shit! Oh, John. That was like a pretty easy kill you got there. Well, I'm John Boxing, John John OS. Having a Dark Souls 2 adventure. 